Hi, this is Ginny. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Uh, I want to talk to you today about something a little different than my weight loss journey. It's not an update. Um, I want to talk to you today about, uh, I guess, what TikTok is calling uh, fat shaming, um, or I guess I would call it more discrimination or stigma with obesity. And it's something that uh, I have seen a lot in my life and maybe some of you have, maybe you haven't, but um, I, it's been on my heart. It's, it's been a passion of mine, especially since I started this weight loss journey because I've learned so much more about obesity and how it is a disease. If you see me looking down, I'm, I took notes because sometimes I can't find my words. I'll get into that in a minute. The CDC now recognizes obesity as a disease. So if you are obese, it is not all your fault. So it is like any other diseases. It's like asthma or allergies or heart disease or diabetes or any of those. And, and that doesn't mean that I don't think that you should seek help if you have obesity because just like any other disease, you would. And I'll get into that in a minute too. But uh, what I first want to say is, as uh, I guess ever since I was young, I have been taught and we are still taught, I think we, we hear all the time about discrimination. Um, and we aren't to discriminate against anyone of, uh, because of their skin color, because of um, their lifestyles, because of disabilities, because of their sexuality, or, you know, even hairstyles and hair colors, which my son has had every hair color, I think. Um, but, it, you know, you don't hear about not discriminating against people with obesity as much. And you don't hear the outcry for it as much. And it's just something that's really been leaning on me. So most of my life, I have been teased or belittled because of my obesity. I've been told, don't eat all that, or you eat too much, uh, you're lazy, you know, get off your fat ass, different things like that. And it's, it's hurtful. It changes who you are. Um, it's, it's like any other stigma. It, it just changes you. So, um, I, I hope that more people, um, lift their voices to this because this is something that is hurtful and it's, it's not all our fault. And I want you to know that if you are obese, it's not all your fault. And I want you to know that you're beautiful, you're made in God's image, and you're loved. And your struggle is obesity. Uh, other people have struggles uh, like we do. Uh, theirs is just different. But I promise you, every person out there has struggles. This is ours. This is mine, at least. So, now, uh, in saying that, I... Do not want to infer that I'm not recommending medical treatment because I, if you deem it necessary, I think medical treatment is, is a good option because just like any other diseases that you would seek medical treatment for, uh, you do for obesity. But if you have a doctor, if you go first probably to your, your primary doctor, is usually our first step. If you go to your primary doctor and he or she doesn't treat you with dignity, <laughs> he or she doesn't treat you with dignity and respect, then it's time to find a new doctor because they need to understand that this is a disease too. This has been a long, a long time stigma. This is a complex disease. It involves our endocrine system. It involves our brain. They, they don't even know all of it yet. It, it involves genetics. 
It involves so much. So treat yourself just like you would treat somebody that you love. And if your doctor is not treating you the way that you would like him to treat him or her to treat you, to treat somebody that you love, then find a different doctor. There's plenty of doctors out there. And it is, it is becoming more widely accepted and certainly recognized as a disease. So there are doctors out there that certainly will, will sympathize with you with that. So also I would say if you have something else going on with you and your doctor says to you, well, if you lose weight, that would go away. Unless he helps you, is helpful for you in finding a way to lose weight, I would also find a new doctor. Because some people just think you just have to start moving and eat less. And it's just not all that. A good doctor, a doctor who is, is knowledgeable in these things will know that it's not just you know, okay, well, tomorrow I'm going to start and it will work. Diets don't work. I recently heard a, a doctor say, if you want to make somebody fat, put them on a diet. I believe that. I've gained a lot of weight on diets. I lost some for a while and then gained more back. And that is a problem with obesity. And I have learned that through this, that I'm not the only one, which I feel thankful for in a way that I have learned that I'm not the only one because I felt like I was for so long. So um, I just want to read you something else that I read recently and I thought it was very interesting. Okay, and I'm going to actually read this because I want to get it right. Some studies have found that the stigma from being overweight can be more harmful to health even than the BMI. Now think about that. I think that is staggering because I, I have heard for years about the BMI and to get your BMI down and your BMI should at least be less than 35. And I never heard one doctor say, well, do you have a stigma from being overweight? Because that can cause problems too. No, nobody's ever said that to me. Nobody has, nobody goes that far. And I've had some great doctors, don't get me wrong. And in being obese, we are, we make good decisions. <laughs> an obese person can make good decisions. An obese person, as an obese person, I have made good health decisions. I have made good exercise choices. I have made good food food choices doesn't always it doesn't always come off that way so I just want you all to know that if you are struggling with this that I am here with you <laughs> and you're not alone and there is a community out here that um, is a lot like you um, or if you know somebody who is struggling with this um, we're out here and you're not alone. I think I thought for probably, wow, 50 years of my life. I know I only look 27, but <laughs> um, I, I thought that I was alone. I thought I was the only one. Nobody would ever understand that diets didn't work for me, that I just would lose some weight, maybe 25, 30 pounds, and then I'd gain back 40 or 50. So, I just want you to know you're not alone and you're loved. God made you and you're in his image and you are loved. And now I just want to apologize for all the background noise. I've tried all day to do this video <laughs> and the dogs have been crazy. You who know me know that we have eight puppies here and so they were loud. And now I forgot to shut off the dryer. So you heard that. And now the clock just went off. But we made it through, right? So I love you all. Please leave me comments because I would love to hear 
what what you guys think what if there's any answers if there's any suggestions for this um because it is a struggle for us and it's not the worst struggle in the world but it's not the best either right so but it's a struggle like like so many other things and it's not it's not all our fault even though we have been blamed for it for years okay i love you all take care and we'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.